Hello, today I will compare two portrait lenses for Sony E-mount. First one is Zeiss Batis 85mm f1.8 and the second is Viltrox 75mm f1.2. Uh, I will uh, compare them on a APS-C body on my Sony ZV-E10. As you can see Zeiss Batis is significantly lighter and smaller, it's uh, all, almost 200 grams uh, difference in terms of weight. Uh, both of them are very well built, they feel uh, solid, uh, made with good materials. Uh, Zeiss Batis has a very nice and smooth, especially smooth, uh, manual focus ring. And Viltrox on the uh, second hand uh, has also a manual focus ring but this uh, focus ring is a little bit more stiff, maybe it's more stiff because it's a brand new and Zeiss Batis is already more used. And in Viltrox we also have a, a switch that we can uh, change clicky or smooth uh, aperture ring because uh, we can change aperture uh, in, a in a some kind of a ring and we also have focus hold button and AFMF uh, switch. Viltrox also have a very nice rubber gasket uh, in the mount. Uh, this gasket is very uh, thick and very uh, solid and it has also a USB-C port on the back of the mount for future upgrades. Also Zeiss Batis uh, has a weather seal so they both have this. And at first we will take Mm, take a look at Viltrox 75mm, it's autofocus performance on video mode. So my camera is set to the fastest uh, autofocus performance in a video and that's how it looks. I think that it's very nice perform, we can see a little bit of focus point and focus briefing, but it's nothing uh, very very bad. And on the second hand uh, we can see Zeiss Bati 85. It also has a little bit of focus pulling, a little bit of uh, focus breaking, breathing also. But in general we can see that both of these lenses perform very well. At least uh, you can also see a difference in f1.2 and f1.8 in these lenses because everything I you will see in this uh, video is shoot at white open and now we will take a stabilization and here we've got no image stabilization in Viltrox so we can see that uh, our video footage will be uh, a little bit shaky and that's how it looks so uh, in Batis we've got a built-in optical image, stabiliza image stabilization in lens so it looks much much better and it helps also in some kind of uh, very low light situation that you can go very low with your shutter speed. And the next one autofocus in a photography mode. I think that uh, in general both of them works very well, very snappy, very fast, very accurate. So we have nothing uh, bad to say about any of these lenses in terms of autofocus. And now we can see Viltrox and in a second we will see the perform performance of Zeiss Batis 85 right now. Zeiss Batis as we can see also is finding phase in a Viltrox, it wasn't work and uh, the frame wasn't appearing, but in general I don't think it's a uh, much of difference. Okay, what about uh, bokeh balls? Let's see the Viltrox, we can see nice round bokeh balls, big bokeh balls, I uh, very like this, uh, uh, this image, what we can get, we can also see a little bit of cutting shapes in the corners as you can see right now especially but in general in, in generally uh, it's very nice and clear image for me 
clear instead of my very dirty sensor as you can see right now that I've got some moss and dust and a sensor of my camera and it appears in here and right now we can see the ice batteries we can also see that image stabilization is working in here uh, bulk ripples are also very nice very smooth very roundy also a little bit of cutter shapes in the corners but in general works looks very well for me so it's hard to decide which one to prefer what about chromatic aberration we can see that both of these lenses are performing very well in terms of the situation we can also see that Zeiss batteries here in f1.8 is a little bit uh, more sharp okay and i tried to manual focus in the in this case and it was easier with the with Zeiss batteries because the manual focus ring is more smooth and the rocks was a little bit stiff and a little bit harder to get on point and let's compare uh, bokeh and general sharpness of this uh, beautiful lenses and right now I tried to replicate the frame of the bodies so I came a little bit closer and let's see side by side uh, how it looks In Vilt Rocks we already can see a little bit of better and smooth a background uh, blur but in general both are looking very good and we also can see that this f1.2 and with f1.8 difference is one full stop of light so it's kind of big difference so you have to notice this if you have to choose one of them so guys it's very hard to judge these uh, lenses because both are very good both are uh, feeling pre premium lenses so it's nothing to complain about but that you have to consider the difference because uh, Viltrox if is f1.8 f1.2 you will get more background blur and more light and Zeiss batteries on the other side has image stabilization so if you are thinking about making some videos maybe it's uh, the lens for you and at the end let's take a look on some few samples of this lenses thank you see ya